stay woke keep your eyes on the distance don't hold on to your rear view don't let the face get anywhere near you on s'en va rejoindre Kate Jones, un rappeur émergent qui met beaucoup Winnipeg de l'avant dans sa musique. Un gars super engagé socialement. On s'en va le rejoindre à son studio. Hey! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Great space. Wow. Well, welcome to our room. This is uh, where we hang out a lot of the time. Sometimes in the summer, we got... Obviously, you see all the graffiti and stuff like that. We get like a good view of the city in the background and everything like that. It looks so, amazing. Yeah. How would you describe Winnipeg? Some people in the world have a little bit of uh, perspective on Winnipeg that it might be a little more of a rougher city, that it might be a little more hard. But you know, I've been here my whole life, and you know, that's just life, right? There's things that people deal with. There's things that people go through that they have to be able to find ways to cope with and and get through. And so. But one of the main things that I've noticed out of this city is that no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are or where I've met you, you have heart. It's what I see in our art community. It's what I see within uh, our nonprofit communities. It's what I see within all of the you know, restaurant businesses, people here. The restaurants care about their people. It seems that there's a common goal here. We all want to raise up this city. Everybody wants to be involved. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to try and be a part of something to try and build that, to try yeah. and make something happen. And why is it important for you and your music to put forward your values? I think it's just, it's just important to be real. It's important to be raw, authentic, and genuine. But we need to bring it in a direction of uh, trying to direct our youth, trying to direct our people, and trying to bring a message that I think um, is bringing empowerment. It's really nice, because rap can be very problematic in many ways. Misogyny, it's, just, yes. it's, a, it's a very uh, male-dominated world. drugs and alcohol use and exactly. all those sorts of things. Yeah. And for our youth, for some yeah. of our indigenous youth, we don't need those influences right now. Mm -hmm. We need influences that are going to get us on a healing road, that mm -hmm. are going to get us on an empowering road, right? We don't need influences that are telling us to have 50 girls, telling us to pop our bottles and our, our pills, right? We need real growth, and we need yeah. these youth to be able to have uh, a route into that and hip-hop has has been a catalyst it has been a very powerful weapon and a very powerful tool to be able to open minds to be able to get people connected to be able to reprogram our brains to open up and so that's my goal i would love to hear your stuff sweet well why don't we go uh, down to the studio then Just check it out let's do it à tout juste 22 ans, Kate Jones a déjà cofondé sa propre maison de disques, Pay Attention, qui endosse un hip-hop axé sur la sensibilisation aux enjeux sociaux. This is me and my other studio mate, Sunday night, I'm on the chorus, and, you know, we're very close and connected in terms of on the indigenous side together as brothers, and so we're really trying to, trying to grow that voice, trying to bring out our voice together, and we fit really well together, and it's been a good process. The lyrics uh, in that, like, I don't really think about it, but the stars, yeah, I've seen them fall in. It it's just goes to speaks to my personal experience sometimes, you know, my inner turmoils and my thoughts. I, I, you know, I do have ADHD, um, deal with anxiety, and have dealt with depression and things like that. And so music's always been a really big relief for that. Uh, I see the bombs going on in my head. So it's basically all the thoughts, all the processes going on inside of my head. Um, and just trying to get that and put that down into a song, right? And those, those things we go through interpersonally within ourselves. What are the types of struggles that a musician can go through? When starting out music, I wasn't really in necessarily the position or a good position financially. I wasn't really in a good position mentally, right? I was skipping a lot of school. I was very angry at the world. By being able to, to bring hip hop into that picture, um, that's changed that incredibly. Stuff like even coming out to my parents, right? And saying, hey, I, I love music, I want to do music, right? Or your friends and telling all your friends, I love to do music. Not everybody's there right away. To the high school I went to, barely anyone else, you know, believed in that because I'm coming up to school and I got um, like holes in my shoes. I'm wearing like raggedy clothes. No one takes a young indigenous person serious who looks like that, who skips class, who is involved in drugs. No one takes that serious. And so I had to really find a way to go through that, to have people take me serious, listen to my voice. Yeah. Um, so that was probably the hardest part for me. That's also a huge part of why 
I give back or try in my music to try to give as much as possible that value because that's how I was introduced. It's amazing because you don't only speak about um, engagement and community, you actually do the work, you're out there, you're helping people, right? I've had so much privilege compared to all of my brothers and sisters out there, compared to the people I've met, compared to the situations that they've been through, you know? Because I haven't dealt with a lot of those intergenerational traumas. I haven't dealt with a lot of the, the alcohol syndrome, you know? I haven't dealt with your parent abuse. I haven't dealt with everything that's in that community, police violence. I was never really a first-hand experiencer of that. Although I've never been beat up by a cop, I see it. And I have an opportunity to use my voice for that person who just got their voice beaten, who got their voice shut down. Some people don't, don't really have that strength. Some people don't have those supports that I did. Some people don't have that English teacher that I did. Some people don't have those parents that I did. So I try to provide that for them. Yeah. Try to give a little bit of that support because we deserve it. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing that work. Thanks. Kate Jones is really a young artist bouleversant. Sa sagesse est impressionnante et surtout inspirante. Vous pouvez consulter sa page Instagram.